President Biden may have surprised some people in his administration with his latest comments about the COVID pandemic. Is the pandemic over? The pandemic is over. We still have a problem with COVID. We're still doing a lot of work on it. Uh, it's, but the pandemic is over. The president made those remarks during an interview with 60 Minutes. Scott Pelley there. It comes just a few days after the director of the World Health Organization said the end of the pandemic is, quote, in sight. The CDC says right now about 360 people die from COVID-19 every day in the U.S. So is the pandemic over? Let's bring Dr. Suman Radhakrishna. She is the director of infectious diseases at Dignity Health California Hospital. Doctor, do you agree with the, the president there? Is the pandemic over? First of all, thank you for having me, and I wish it was over. I think everybody wishes it's done and over with. But yes, we are getting close to it. You know, the definition of pandemic and endemic are all definitions used to help mobilize resources. So um, the number of cases have been dropping, but not to the extent that we would like to see. Um, to that, to that um, effect, yes. The pandemic is getting better. Is it over? I hope it, it will be soon. Okay, well, let's. you just mentioned some numbers. So the Centers for Disease Control keeps tab on uh, COVID statistics here in the U.S. Here are the latest trends from the last seven days. More than 54,000 new cases. I, do know, I know we can throw this information up on the screen so our viewers can follow along. Uh, 360 new deaths, almost 4,000 people in the hospital are testing positive. As you said, these numbers are trending downward, but still, what do these numbers tell you? How close are we, in your opinion, to being to this pandemic being over? The numbers are heartening in the sense that uh, we are seeing more people with milder disease, but at the same time, the variants are so much more contagious. Uh, if it, this is the last variant, then for sure we would all be heaving a sigh of relief. But every time somebody gets infected, the virus multiplies. When it replicates, it has a chance to mutate. And it can revert back to that deadly virus that was there, which started out all those deaths in 2020. So we do not want to get there. And these mutations happen by chance. And once they get picked up, it's a problem. We are hoping that the number of people getting infected or at least the new infections drop significantly so that the chance of mutation is lost. And now, you know, there's gonna be this opportunity for people to get these new boosters. Um, there are a lot of people watching this that say, okay, we thought when the vaccines came out, you promised us that it would mean that we can't spread the disease or we don't get the disease. Both those things are clearly happening. So they're skeptical about getting another vaccination. They're saying, why do I really need that? I got COVID anyways. What do you say to them? Rightfully so. And nobody likes a shot in the arm. You know, it's painful and uh, it may not be too bad, but it still is painful. And as the, the virus mutates, the vaccine loses its efficacy. It's not as good. It definitely prevents hospitalizations. And the ones who are hospitalized, it reduces the incidence of death for sure, but it doesn't protect against infections. So we need the new and improved vaccines to come along, which will take care and encompass all the variants that are there so that it will protect us. But remember that these variants are what is existing today. Every time there's a mutation, it's quite possible that the vaccine may become less effective. Mm. But if we all get our herd immunity up, then we should be okay going forward. Yeah, and the bivalent booster, as it's known, is to protect us from BA.4 and BA.5. So, and we can also say that I think about 70% of LA County residents are eligible for that bivalent booster. Dr. Suman Radhakrishna, Director of Infectious Disease at Dignity Health California, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you. Still to come, Adnan Syed, remember that?